So I've recently been posting about the fact that tax deductions in this current financial year are going to be worth more than they will be from 1 July because of the upcoming stage three tax cuts. And I've been getting a bunch of questions saying, well, what do I actually do about it? And how can you take maximum advantage? So today I wanted to talk about what are the things that you can claim and where are the areas of opportunity to be smart with your tax planning in the next few months to maximize your tax return. Now, this is not tax advice, so please check with your friendly tax professional before acting on it, but there is some important stuff in there that I think you need to know. So the things that you can claim, the first two, the biggest areas for deductions for most employee individuals, i.e. non-business owners, are motor vehicle expenses and home office expenses. Now with your motor vehicle, if you use that for work purposes, you can claim a bunch of deductions there. There's a fixed kilometer method and there's an actual expenses method. You can look at which one will give you the maximum advantage and uh, use the one that serves you best. Also home office expenses, so anything for people working from their work from home bunkers, uh, they can be deducted. Make sure you keep good records there because the ATO is all over it, but there is a, a large opportunity for deductions in this space in the current financial year. Those two areas are the two biggest areas for a lot of people and can result in thousands of dollars of tax deductions, which means hundreds or even thousands of dollars of tax savings based on the changing rules from the 1st of July. We've also got interest costs and there's an opportunity to prepay interest expenses before the end of the financial year. These are expenses that you would have incurred anyway in the next financial year where your deductions are going to be worth less. That is going to save you a bunch of tax. Another one is education expenses around a self education or even getting uh, tax advice or investment advice. That's a big area that a lot of people spend a bit of money, whether you're getting advice from your accountant, advice from a financial advisor, or you're paying for short courses to educate yourself. Uh, check for your deductibility on the ATO website, which is quite helpful. A lot of those expenses though are tax deductible and having them in this financial year as opposed to next is going to mean that they cost you less after tax. Subtle plug for our Smart Money Accelerator education program, which you can check out all the details in my bio. Income replacement cover is another deduction and prepaying for your income replacement insurance before the end of the financial year is going to mean that it costs you less because of these tax cuts. Capital losses is another thing, particularly if you're using those to offset capital gains. So if you've had some capital gains in, in this current financial year, that you are gonna have to pay tax on them at the current tax rates. If you've got any capital losses, you've got a few dog investments that are sitting in your portfolio, close those out. It will bring down your capital gains and overall means that you pay less tax. Also negative gearing expenses on uh, any investments, property in particular though, you wanna get your skates on for this one, but having those expenses in this current financial year, again, is going to save you more tax. Appreciate that there's a lot of ground there, but between those areas, there's a ton of opportunity for savings. And once that window closes with the tax cuts coming in from the 1st of July, it will be closed from good. So be on the front foot with this stuff.